just wild Ugh. hey guys today we are in Denmark yay I'm so tired I'm like trying to wake myself up but yeah we're in Copenhagen today it is pricey here guys oh trains coming of course but last night we went out to get nachos and I had one glass of wine and it was a $35 meal so that was rough we bought ourselves a Copenhagen card, which pretty much brings you to all the museums and sites for free. Everything's included, as well as your Metro Pass, all that kind of stuff. Copenhagen is made up of different areas, kind of like New York has boroughs. So you need to take public transportation to get to each kind of place that you want to be. But we're really excited. Everything is beautiful here. Our hostel is stunning. I'll show you guys that later. But for now, we are going to take a boat cruise on the canal. See you there. I also got Starbucks. Seven dollars. <laughs> also, we tried to get the bus and literally ran across <laughs> a four-lane highway to get to it. And then I go to pry the doors open and they literally try to cut off my arm. So, great intro to the city. Really feeling welcomed here. Yay! So, we didn't even mean to end up here. We were just walking by. We realized that this is the Christiansborg Palace, which contains the Danish Parliament, Supreme Court, and Ministry of State. Ministry of State. I can't talk. And you can tour through, which is covered on our Copenhagen card. That's a nice shot. Is it? But we're gonna go take a cruise down the canal first, while this coffee hopefully sets into my eyes and opens them to some degree. Thank you. Is that an insult? <laughs> you guys, it's 40 degrees. Shelby, could you please just explain what is happening here? So we have these headphones in and the tour is translated into 11 different languages. So they're just giving us a bunch of facts about each building. Hi. Hi. I said a bird. Bird. Bird is the word. I said a bird. 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 Bird is the word. Danish flag is also the oldest flag. <laughs> what is it? We are currently sailing through Christianshaven, which was developed by King Christian IV, and he kind of designed the whole town around Amsterdam and is known for the urban renewal of this area. <laughs> <laughs> It was really, really fun. I highly recommend. <laughs> Somebody's looking at me and laughing, so I'm just gonna stop it. <laughs> try, 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 try! Oh my god, that's 
So guys, we are currently in the Tivoli Gardens, which is an amusement park, an amusement park, and... Oh my god. And Pleasure Garden that opened in 1843 and is actually the second oldest amusement park in the world. I feel like no one's gonna appreciate all of my bird footage. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh, they're lovely. We wanted to go on the roller coaster behind us, but it is 90 krona or like $14 for one person. So we're gonna go try to find some of the like $3 and $6 rides. Ooh, he's candy. <laughs> Well, can't get in there. That is the Danish parliament. Just uh, not really political figures. Maybe in another life. Probably not, probably not. Behind the rope, but there's no one here. How do we get in? So I guess the tower, the ruins, the kitchen, all the things that are inside that we wanted to see close at 5 p.m. So that's something to know. Make sure you don't come here after 5 because nothing will be open. I guess we're just never meant to be inside a castle. We're peasants. Basically just peasants. Hey guys, sorry I have been gone for the past few months. Um, I was supposed to be consistently putting up videos and I take full responsibility for not doing that. But I did volunteer with children in Africa and there was zero Wi-Fi there. But I'm getting back on track. I'm here in Vienna staying with a friend. I just got so backed up with so much work because I'm also writing a daily travel diary on my Patreon. If you'd like anything more in depth about my travels, some really funny and really crazy stories are up on there for you to view. Every fifth diary you can see for free, but I do highly recommend you subscribe. It's only a dollar a month and I'm actually giving 10% of all of my proceeds to the school in Ghana that I worked for and I do update you on the Patreon and how they're doing. They're just adorable so help them out, help me out and lastly the one thing I've been really good about keeping up with and something I'm actually really proud of is my Instagram feed. I've been posting tons and tons of travel content and lately a lot of fun fashion content so I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for sticking around. <sighs> Remember to always look at subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.